Hi, my name is Bert Baker. Um, I've been a student of transmission and clutch uh, design for a few years. Um, I've learned a few things over the years. So um, what I'd like to do is pass along some information, some knowledge on uh, clutch design, clutch system design. Um, in episode 17, we talked about a qualitative way to assess whether the clutch and clutch actuator system is, is in good health. We did that by rotating the rear wheel with the wheel off the ground and in sixth gear. This episode, episode number 18, we're going to talk about the uh, quantitative way to do it, and by that meaning numerical. So the, the key piece of, uh, of uh, equipment here is a dial indicator with a magnetic base. And what I've done is to make a little mounting strap that mounted on the derby cover holes. And the mounting strap serves as a base for the magnetic base of the dial indicator. So I got it set on zero here and I'm going to go ahead and pull in the clutch and see how much pressure pr pressure plate travel we get from this uh, 2021 soft tail. It's stock, stock, stock. And as you can see, we got about 88 thousandths. We'll let it back to zero. That's eh, close enough. And we'll do it again. And so that's about 88, 87 thousandths. That is a very, very healthy clutch. And what I mean by that is the, the function of the clutch is to disengage the motor from the transmission. That is its function. And to do that, the magic number is about 70 thousandths. You need 70 thousandths of pressure plate travel to, uh, to adequately disengage the motor from the transmission. And so, as you can see, this was about 87, 88 thousandths. And so that would be a very, very healthy clutch and clutch actuator system. If you are experiencing hard shifting, uh, uh, you can't find neutral very well. Um, you, you would do yourself well to take the time, put a dial indicator on the clutch and see what you have. If you have less than 70 thousandths, let's say you have 55 thousandths, something like that, 50. Um, that kind of pressure plate travel will definitely affect your ability to find neutral. It'll definitely decre degrade shift quality. And so if you have a number like that, your next step is to assess probably clutch actuator health. Clutch actuator is everything in the clutch system or the clutch actuator system from the pressure plate adjust screw right here on the pressure plate all the way up to the lever. You may have a worn uh, clutch cable. Uh, a worn or aged clutch cable will have a lot of free play and slop in it and it will cause this kind of condition to occur. Uh, if you have a hydraulic system, uh, bubbles, uh, uh, leaking seals in your hydraulic system could be the root cause. Um, the, the, as you can see, let's do some numbers. Let's do some numbers. The clutch pressure plate travel was 88 thousandths. The lever displacement from let's say the dog leg over to the grip let's say that's two two and a half inches um i'm not doing the math correctly but i think it's something like a 30 times lever ratio between here and here one thing that we get a lot of calls on is the uh, light effort uh, gizmos that are on the market the uh, reduced clutch effort gizmos. They do exactly what's advertised as they reduce your clutch effort. That, that, that is true, I can't take that away from them. But what they also do 
is reduce the pressure plate travel um, significantly. So let's say if we were to install a light clutch effort uh, ball ramp set on this, it might take what we measured as 87 thousandths, it might take that down to 70, 65 thousandths. Um, at that level, you're starting to get on the ragged edge of not enough pressure plate travel, meaning for it to work correctly, you have to be very, very diligent on your clutch lever adjustment and minimize the free play so that you maximize the pressure plate travel. Um, once again, if you have a stock transmission or a Baker transmission and you are experiencing uh, difficulty finding neutral, hard shifting, um, and you installed one of these light effort clutch things, you might serve yourself well to put the stock one back on and, and reevaluate how it performs relative to finding neutral and shift quality. And uh, that's episode number 18. Thanks for listening.